What up YouTube, this is your boy Dr. Lee coming at you again with a new segment. Not really a new segment, more like bringing it back but reinventing it into something cool and different or whatever you want to call it. I don't care. At the end of the day, I'm going to be able to give you guys weekly tech news on Friday. So pretty much that's what this segment on my channel is going to be about. Just keeping you guys updated on Fridays on all of the little news that you guys missed. Without further ado, rolling in. Okay, so first news, I have my iPad right here, so I'm gonna be cheating a little bit, and I'm just gonna be reading like the headlines on these news, and all of the link will be in the description, just in case you guys want to read more on it and get more info and get caught up with it. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna go into too much of detail here, so just gonna skim through it, give you guys the topic, and shoot, go for it, you know? First news today is, if your Wi-Fi router is on this list, it might be vulnerable to the CIA hacking tool. I'm sure you guys have heard of it, WikiLeaks. This is a hacking tool that pretty much CIA put out there, been acquiring some information and stuff like that. If your Wi-Fi router is on this list that came out, yours is vulnerable. I do have uh, the D-Link Wi-Fi router. When I looked on the list, my router was on that list. So I guess um, it's time for either upgrade or something. So the list will be in the description below. I want you guys to check it out and read more in that article. If your Wi-Fi router is on that list, update your router, do whatever you have to do. You know, um, I don't know if this is gonna really stop them, the CIA, so it is what it is. Update your router. I'm in the market for a new one pretty much because I don't want people checking out my history. <sighs> nothing, nothing. Let's move on to the next story. So Apple just released their refreshed iPad Pros, the 10.5 inch and the 12.9 inch iPad. So far from research and what everybody's saying that these iPad are like pretty dope, I don't see the big deal about them really to be honest with you. Uh, it's just Apple just throwing shit out there for people to buy I guess. Currently I have the 9.7 inch iPad that was uh, iPad Pro that was released last year. I don't see any reason of upgrading. All I know about these uh, new iPads are the refresh rate that they are calling ProMotion which is 120 hertz. It is a pretty minor upgrade. Yes, the specs is pretty high up up there. Like I know the, the new processor is like a beast and they are comparing it with few of the, the MacBook that Apple is releasing saying that you know these two iPads are pretty much destroying it when it comes to speed and all that stuff. I just don't see the real reason to upgrade if you have the 9.7 inch already. The only thing that they literally upgrade, they stepped up the screen size on the iPads and increased the speed, refresh rate. Nothing new. There is no innovation there. I don't see any innovation, any reason for me to actually go jump on it. I iOS 11 is going to come out, and I'm pretty sure the order on Apple 7 will be able to run that pretty smoothly. So I'm not going to buy that. I'm not going to jump on it. I'm going to wait for next year model. If at all Apple finally decides to innovate, then I might jump on that. But for now, I don't see any reason. Moving on to the next story, which is T-Mobile. <laughs> so T-Mobile finally announced that they were able to acquire 600 megahertz spectrum, which they're gonna be updating their tower so we can be at least getting better signal for once. Now T-Mobile network, once you are getting service, the internet speed is pretty fast. I have to admit that T-Mobile speed, they're, they're really fast, but that is if you're getting signal. So hopefully with this uh, upgrade spectrum, we will be able to get better signal because right now T-Mobile is trying to catch up with Verizon and AT&T when it comes to their signal boost. To be honest with you, I am using a signal booster in my house right now just to get T-Mobile service. So hopefully with this, we'll be able to get better signal. So T-Mobile, they are trying to speed things up to get us those 600 megahertz that they just acquired. That's a good news. For you, if you have T-Mobile and you suffer from signal, this is a good news. For me, when I saw it, I was doing a little bit dead, so I have to admit. So they literally acquired 600 megahertz spectrum across all 50 states. So that, we should be covered. For those of you guys who are like struggling with Signal, hopefully they should be able to resolve that problem. Link will be in the description below. Again, 
if you want to check it out. So for those of you guys who was on YouTube this morning, Friday, June 16 at 9 a.m. 2017, all of a sudden, bam, YouTube went down. Everybody on the interweb just freaked out and were like, what the hell happened, YouTube? So it wasn't worldwide, just mostly it affected the northern side of the United States. So if you didn't experience it, that's probably why. And if you did, this is why. YouTube actually shut down for a bit. And they were able to get it up and everything was good again. So literally this, this shut down for about 30 minutes. It happened at 9 a.m. by 9.30 a.m. They got it back up and everything is good again. Moving on to the next story. Let's move on, let's do this, let's speed this up. I'm excited about this next story because I do have a Nest thermostat. And Nest is considering Apple Home Kit. The Nest thermostat, it works really well. I really like it. If you don't have one, I really recommend it because literally I do forget a lot. So when I'm leaving my house sometimes, I forget to turn my AC off. And this thing was literally sensed that nobody's home and shuts off your AC. Or like right when I park around my house, my, I hear my AC going off. So it will shut down with nobody home and turn on once it senses that somebody's home. But I really like this because they do not have Apple HomeKit support, but at the same time, you kinda don't need it because literally you can control your Nest thermostat anywhere around the world. I can turn it on and off and all that stuff. Anyway, I don't have to be home to turn it on and off. So that just worked. I'm glad that they're actually gonna be doing that. Apparently, consumers are favoring the Samsung Galaxy S8 over the iPhone for once in the United States. It's ridiculous and pretty much all over the world that Samsung Galaxy S8 has more fans and people are, customers are favoring it over the iPhone. That being said, yes, Samsung have been killing it in the last couple of years. I have to admit, Apple. Yeah, um, I don't, I don't know what, I, I don't know, I don't know what happening. <laughs> I really don't know what's up with Apple, you know, like they do make really great solid products. That's why people like them. But customers, Apple fans are getting sick and tired of just lack of innovation. And I don't blame customers for favoring the Galaxy S8 because that phone is a beautiful phone, it is a great phone, and it pretty much dominate any phones that Apple have put out so far. And literally, they've been doing the domination for a while, I have to admit. I'm not a, a Samsung fan. I do not like Samsung phones. Not because they don't look great. The only thing that is really holding Apple up is iOS. Here's another thing about the Galaxy S8. I kind of have some clue as to why this is happening with the Galaxy S8. It is that there's another article, even though people are favoring it, but it's not being sold as much as it was anticipated to sell. Literally, so far, Samsung sold more S7 than the S8 currently. Now, two reasons. Two reasons why this is happening. I think it has to do with the Galaxy Note 8. Samsung is gonna be releasing the Galaxy Note 8 and that phone is gonna be a beast. And I, I just read another article that says that Samsung might even be releasing the Galaxy Note 8 before the iPhones are released. I think that's one of the reasons why the S8 is not selling much because of the Note 8 that's supposed to be coming out. Also, some people are also waiting for the new iPhone. I think those, those are the two phones that are interfering with every phone sales right now. The Galaxy Note 8 and the iPhones that are coming out in the end of the year. You guys are now caught up every Friday, Tech Talk. This is my channel. Welcome if you're new, please, please, please subscribe. You guys are gonna be helping me out a lot, all right? By subscribing, you guys are gonna encourage me to do more of these videos. So. Subscribe to my channel and I will be hitting you guys up every Friday with cool news that you guys missed. All the article is right there. All you need to do is just click on the link and bam, you can read all about it. All right, this is your boy, Dr. Lee. I'm out.